Hey everybody and welcome to Walrus Commentary plays Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Oh boy. Was more this like, good? More like Sonic the Was Hedgehog. Was this good? Or Okay. It's about pigs. As a recovering Sonic fan myself, a still obsessive Sonic fan, uh, which is Kenny, and some idiot who doesn't know shit, Spike. I do not know the deep lore of this game. <laughs> Here's I'm just going to let you in on a secret, Spike. This game is ass. Oh, so it's not good? Yeah, I mean, do you see what's on your screen right now? This... Does this look like a game that could be good? Do you, do you remember, I don't know if you follow, or if, if you saw the fan game, the Sonic 2 HD? That game looked fucking gorgeous. It looks like what this look like could look like, but does not. Honestly, I I don't know what's going on. Like I think they're 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 clearly going for like a Donkey Kong 64 kind of or sorry, not Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> Donkey, He's Donkey the first Kong member kind of, shit. of the Hedgehog crew. It does it is approximately as good as Donkey Kong 64, which is to say not at all. Um they're clearly going for like a Donkey Kong Country style pre-rendered graphics look, but instead it just Mm. Mm. I think then I think they should have not done that. Because yeah. it looks it look just looks like the graphics are compressed in a bad way. It's extremely uncomfortable. This looks look like at. a flash game. It does. It kind of looks like just something about that the whole aesthetic. It looks like something someone would make as a flash game. Like, Let me remind you that there's a Sonic Infinite make. Runner. Though, yeah, the Sonic Runners, that was actually made by Sonic Team. Fun yeah, fact, and this it's is, good. This is made by, like, the people that made Sonic Advance. So they know how to make a good Sonic game. They forgot uh, at some point. Apparently. Well, they it's been a while. Imagine being the B-team of Dimps. Like, Jesus fucking... Jesus Christ, how horrifying. <laughs> Doesn't their A-team like make, like, the Capcom fighters? What? Wait, what? Let Do you know about that? I... I mean, the gameplay doesn't look t that bad, just the graphics. Oh, you have no really idea. Great. Like, hang on, I need to stop fucking running for a second, Sonic. Okay, I want you to observe something real quick. Remember how the what? old games had, like, realistic physics? Oh, well, uh -oh. anyways. Check, check this out. so good. <laughs> also, rolling has no momentum. Also this. Hmm. Oh, yes. Mm. I think that's an issue with the graphics, to be honest. No, it's just that they have a very bad physics engine. Yeah, I... also, I can't really show it in the video, obvious, like, too obviously, but there's no momentum to anything you do. Like, yeah, well, what I mean is, like, the graphics make it look twice as bad. Oh, yeah. I think if it had nice, fancy graphics, it would be... A, and a soundtrack that didn't... It... You can't... You can't hear it right now, Spike, but... The the soundtrack for this, I'm sure you've heard little bits of it. Yeah. It, it's notorious for trying, like, a Genesis sound font, but instead it just... Oh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's, it's like cats. It's like... It's like baby's first Casio keyboard, but yeah. like using all the preset MIDI sounds. It's really bad. Fantastic. But like yeah. the worst part of this game, besides everything, is that like Sonic starts running by like building up momentum, like the classic games, but he stops immediately. Oh yeah. Oh. It's really disorienting when it happens. So, yeah, you're actually right. Dimps has done, like, the ports of all of the... Like, of a lot of games. As well as... They did Street Fighter 4. They worked on Street Fighter 4. They worked on Street Fighter 4 3D. Uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. So, I did not know that Dimps did, this, did that stuff. Yeah. They also worked on... Get this! Classic PS Vita game. Freedom Wars. Is that oh. game good? 
It looks incredible. It sounds incredible. Everybody, okay, I I have this on, on a really good recommendation for Oni. I've seen gameplay of it. The concept is absolutely flawless. Yeah. Go play, if you own a Vita, if you're one of the two people on the planet that owns a Vita, go buy Freedom Wars. It is... It Not is only like the two people watch, watch that like play Vita, like the one person that watches this. So Oni, yeah. go, go buy Freedom Wars again. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. You know Oni's watching this video. Hi, Oni. Hi, Oni. Hey. You know he also just Oni. said... You know he also just said hi, Mock, when I said that. Hi, me. Like, at the, at the video. You know he did it. <laughs> you <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Poor sad Oni. I hope you fucking die, Oni. Let me show you how bad the special stages are in this game. Uh, uh, the special stages in Episode 2 are the Sonic 2 special stages. Yeah. And they're actually good. I mean... Which, you know, they're fine. But in this, it's like they took the special stages from one, from the original Sonic 1, and just, they, they did all of the things wrong with it. Mm -hmm. So instead of maneuvering Sonic properly, you rotate the the board. And it and it's so to, floaty. Like, get rings? And... Doesn't yeah. this look fun? Oh. oh you know Jesus. the most, the most, the most, what do you call it? It's it's really disorienting. Like wow, I'm getting a headache watching this. This is the only special stage I'm doing. <laughs> Please, thank you. But don't you want the best ending? Oh, you're right. There's the only difference is that he goes supersonic at the end. Can you if you get all the uh, stuff? Can you go supersonic in the middle of a stage? Yeah, this is the first game to do that in the while. Uh, oh, yeah, good. the first game, I think, since what? Sonic 3 and Knuckles? Yeah. That's fucking sad, man. Then they started doing it in the 3D games. It's It wasn't that great, though. It doesn't feel that great in Generations. It was a nice, um... gesture. Dude, Dimps worked on Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Oh, yeah, they did. I mean, that game's not great either, but it's serviceable. Mm, they're working on Street Fighter V, and Street Fighter V is extremely good. Yeah, it's just lacking a lot of content because Capcom didn't did you... wanted it out immediately. I was about to oh, say, oh god, on Lost World, and then I remembered. Yeah, uh, of course. Wait, they did. The hang on, Kenny. Look at Eggman's model compared to like the oh. backdrop you're jumping on. I'm sorry, I already killed him. Oh. This is what happens when you reuse bosses, you stupid assholes. It it just doesn't look good when you compare it to like the background and shit. Everything looks really flat. Yeah, I think it has to do with how they do lighting on the characters. They're trying like, to like look, oh my god. They're trying to do a thing like the classic sprites where it only has like three shades, but it doesn't mm -hmm. work on three D models. No. The, I am actually paying attention to the background now. They didn't bother to like they. This looks really bad. <laughs> <laughs> they changed uh, the lighting, but didn't like fix the background, so it looks just really, really bad. They, I it's like they used the burn I... tool. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, there's a lot about this that's just not. It's extremely low budget, despite it being hyped as a as a big deal. I mean, it was a downloadable title. Yeah. But they had, you know. Originally, I don't know if they'd planned for this, or if they had just talked about the possibility of it, but it, it, I was under the impression that it was going to be a box title when it was complete, when all three acts, like, parts were released. That would make uh, sense. I, yeah, because, like, I think they had said as much, that they were they were planning on it or talking about it or something. Spoilers, uh, did part viewers, three ever release? No. There is no part three. Uh, part 2, I believe, I don't know if Part watch 2 ends the, Watch that be the new Sonic game they're announcing in a couple of days. Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Part 4. Where'd Part 3 go? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I also, I don't, I don't appreciate when, um, they do, like, uh, a throwback game like this, and they just recycle all the content. Yeah. Like, have one level that's just like, oh, this is a Green Hill Zone, but with a little bit of a twist. And then have all the levels be original. This is just Casino Night. It's yeah. got some elements of Carnival Night, like those uh, really ugly-looking cylinders. But other than that, it's pretty much just 
Carnival Night Zone in Function. And before Carnival anybody Night says, well, they yeah. reused levels in Sonic Generations, the thing is, Generations had different gameplay. Well, Generations, yeah, not only was it specifically built as a love letter to the franchise, like, the levels all had really good twists on them. 